dead. Let the master set you free. Let the master bring his peace to you. He ain't asking you to live this thing. He's asking you to trust him so he can show you how. If you're going to walk in what I do, you have got to make the foundation how Welcome again to Jesus This Answer Ministry Broadcast. I'm Pastor Robert Scales. What a glorious week we done had. Last couple of weeks on teaching on, uh, you know, seeing him. Everyone that seeth him and believeth. It, it taps you right into the eternal life. Uh, Jesus said this in John 6, 4, and this is the will of him that sent me. Everyone that seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. And Jesus said, I'll raise him up at the last day. And I'm going to tell you, saints, one of the things, one of the greatest revelations beside the cross that the Lord has taught me is, 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 He's got the words that produce God. And, and that's the reason he lived perfect. And he wants us to live a, a, a perfected, perfect, matured life. And quit being tossed to and fro. Uh, Jesus wants us, God wants us to see Christ. And to see what he did for us on the cross, what he provided for us, that he said we can have every day. Every day. And so, saints, I'm, 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 I'm teaching you all. What I'm going to tell y'all today, let me, let me start in Luke uh, chapter 17, verse 1. To me, this is the most important message you'll ever hear. Then Jesus said unto his disciples, it's important, it's, it is impossible, but that offenses will come. Woe unto him through whom they come. It were better for him that a milestone were hung about his neck and he cast into the sea then that he should offend one of these little ones. Take heed to yourself. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. If he repent, forgive him. If he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again, to thee saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. Now, now listen to the first part. And the apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. You, you, can't, you can't live in Jesus without living in <clears throat> how he loved you and forgave you and delivered you. You, 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 you can't live in him when you're working against the cross. In, in uh, Romans 8, verse 5, I really like reading that in the Amplified Bible because it, 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 it makes it way more clearer. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, and they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritual man. It's life and peace because the carnal man is enmity against God and for it's not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. You, you're in your own human strength. I'm trying my best. That's not going to work. Let me read you this um, in um, Romans 8, verse 5. For those who are according to the flesh and are controlled by its unholy desires set their minds on and pursue those things which gratify the flesh. Those who are according to the spirit 
and are controlled by the desires of the spirit, set their minds on and seek those things which gratify the Holy Spirit. Now the man of the flesh, which is sense and reason, without the Holy Spirit, is death. Anytime I can get miserable, I'm upset, I'm troubled, it's always something wrong with me. They don't see me looking at you. <clears throat> Jesus told me this back in 1991. It's very, very alarming. I was on my knees. I was in the cabin fasting and praying. I was on the third day. And I started telling the Lord everything my wife had been doing wrong. And, 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 and I, I, not one thing I said was a lie. And Jesus said to me, he was standing right at the ceiling. And I was pointing my finger. He said, turn that finger back and point it to you. I said, oh, no. I do everything you say every day. See, we be using all these excuses. But here's what Jesus told me. Well, fine. He said, I'm not interested in what your wife do. I'm interested in in you responding to her with my love. See, seeing Jesus, believing, doing what he said. He said he was only interested in me listening to him to respond. Wow! So you can't get mad, stay mad at people? Stay focused on nobody? No, none walk with Jesus. I'm telling y'all, people don't know these truths. Very few people on earth know this. And living is another story. Verse 6, now the man of the flesh, which is sense and reason without the Holy Spirit, is death. Death that comprises all the miseries arising from sin. Both here and here out. Men <clears throat> don't understand. They, they words, they speak to their wife, they're going to be judged. Women, the words you speak, you're going to be judged about anybody. When you stay focused on what's wrong, you got devils. But the man of the Holy Spirit's life and soul peace, both now and forever. That is because the man of the flesh with his carnal thoughts and purposes is hostile to God's love. What does not submit itself to God's law, indeed, it cannot. So then those who are living the life of the flesh, catered to the appetites and impulses of their carnal nature, cannot please or satisfy God or be acceptable to him. Now let's, let's look before I get ready to pray with you all in Hebrews chapter 12, uh, verse 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of faith. See, what, what are you doing? See, everyone that seeth the Son and believeth on him. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of faith. <laughs> Saints, you got to do what God told Joshua in Joshua 1, 8. Don't let this book of the law depart out of thy mouth, but meditate on it day and night. That thou may have observed to do all according as written. And all his laws, statutes, commandments. And then, then, then the word said, then you'll make your way prosperous. Then you make your way prosperous. Then you have good success. The same thing when you put, don't let the, the words of Jesus depart out of your mouth. Meditate on how he loved and living his love toward others. That you'll observe to live in his love every day. Letting him love you first. Seeing he loved you first. And living that love toward others that Jesus freely loved you first. Looking unto Jesus. See, looking unto Jesus. The author and finisher of faith. That King James added our. It's, a, it's not, it's italicized. So it's not in the original Greek. But he's the beginning and the end of how to get everything from God. 
who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. See, Jesus didn't die. God put some joy there. That joy is when you know what the Lord done told you, how your situation going to turn out. It going to turn out good. That joy. When you don't have the money, but you know the money coming. When your body's hurt, but you know by his stripes, I am healed. Amen. <clears throat> I, I had this man, this preacher said, this guy wrote him and told him he, he uh, you know, kept living in sin over a year. And he finally got a hold of it. He's righteous. Finally got a hold of he's righteous. And he said he had to just stay with it. Well, what if he's pedophile a child? No, Jesus is going to set you free. Listen, you can't wait no year. Well, what are you doing? You're hurting people? Jesus got to wait a year? No, no, no. When I called on him, he delivered me and set me free. And I just believe. On the day. And I turned. From darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, I receive forgiveness. Hallelujah. You got to look unto Jesus. It don't take him no year to get you free from nothing. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Now listen at the instructions. You need to see this in the word. See Jesus. Despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Now, verse three. Consider him. See what you gonna do? What you gonna look at him? You gonna see him? Consider him. Every day, morning, night, always consider Jesus. The, 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 one of the greatest truths that I teach the saints to Jesus as a church is when you go through any tests and trials, any troubles any distresses, any worries, anything, Jesus said, John 16, 33, be of good cheer, I've overcome the world. Now, what, what does he want you to see? When he wants you to see, he's overcome the world. He's overcome what you face. Get happy. That's your joy. <laughs> That's your joy. God set that joy in front of him that Jesus was going to get up. You got to let him set that joy by being of good cheer and being thankful that he going to show you how to overcome what you face. Who is he, Pastor Scarce? First John 5, 5, that overcomes the world. He that believeth Jesus is the Son of God, the one sent from heaven. He knows everything, saints. Yeah, before you get a problem, he already know it was coming and know how to work it out. Oh, that's good news. Wonderful news. Now, let, let me read you this in the message Bible. Oh, get ready. Get ready. Message. Okay, here we go. Uh, verse, yeah. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Oh, that's good already. Now, how you do that? You got to keep the eyes on what he, you see he did in the, in the New Testament. You got to keep your eyes on what he said in the New Testament. You got to keep your eyes on what he did on the cross. You got to keep your eyes on that God raised him from the dead with all power in heaven and earth. You got to keep your eyes. He's seated on the right hand of the Father. That you're seated with him in heavenly places. Keep your eyes on Jesus who both began and finished this race we're in. And see, did you get that? So you got to see that. What do you want to see, Pastor Scales? That Jesus started and finished the race you and I are in. And we're not going to endure to the end unless we trust him to show us how. Lord, man, I saw these statistics on how many pastors give up, how many churches close every year. It is a lot. How many people give up? It's a lot. And, and, and I teach people, don't give up. 
Keep your eyes on Jesus, who both began and finished this race we're in. Study how he done it. It's the Message Bible in Hebrews 12, 2 through 5. Study how Jesus done it, because he never lost sight of where he was headed. Have you lost sight? I'm going to pray with you today. That exhilarated finish in and with God, he could put up with anything along the way. Well, that's Jesus. Hold on. That's, you see, we done made Jesus <laughs> be so high. And, and, and some people have made Jesus too high. Now, where he need to be high at, too high, if he the Lamb of God, he took our sins away, he rose from the dead, God gave him all power in heaven and earth, and he's seated next to God. But we don't need to make Jesus so high when we can love just like him, when we can forgive just like him. We need to let Jesus bring us up to his level and teach us and mature us. So Jesus can put it with anything along the way and can show you how. The cross, shame, whatever. Now he's there in the place of honor, right alongside God. When you find yourself flagging in your faith, go over that story, item by item, that long lineage of hostility plowed through that will shoot a dream of into your soul. Now, I want, I want to tell you this, saints, before I get ready to pray. That in 1 John 1, 9, Jesus said, if we confess our sin, this is for Christians. This ain't wrote to agnostics. It's wrote to Christians. How the world are you going to write one chapter to agnostics and then write the second chapter to the Christians and then you don't even tell us but I ain't going for that stupidity. If we confess our sin, see, when you sin, you, you don't break your relate, your, 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 your right standing, you break your fellowship with the Lord. If we confess our sin, he's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Why would Jesus tell us in the Gospels? When your brother asks you to forgive him, forgive him. Why wouldn't we just tell him, I'm righteous. Get over it. Well, he don't teach us that. So why would he teach us in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, and be kind one to another, forgiving one another. you already forgiven. And what a lot of them preaching. No. So you cannot live in it. What's wrong? So be kind. One to another. Forgiving one another. Even as God of Christ's sake have forgiven you. Why? Did you hear that? And so we've been commanded by the Lord Jesus, as God for Christ's sake have forgiven us. Why do? Why would the Lord tell me to forgive you if you do me wrong, but I don't have to go ask and get forgiveness from him when I do him wrong? It don't make sense. If I didn't have to repent and turn away from what I did wrong, then why, why bother doing each other like that? <laughs> it's so you don't live in it. It's so you don't practice it. And then they, they teach you these false doctrines. And they're going to answer to the Lord for that. My job is to preach the truth. First John, second John, third John, are all for Christians. And you must turn when you miss it. You must turn to what Jesus did for you and receive forgiveness from not only your sin, but the cleansing your conscience from the guilt, from all unrighteousness. And you never lose your righteousness because it was a gift. 
of what you lose when you sin is fellowship with him. And when you confess your sins, you are not sending Jesus back to the cross to die again. When you confess your sins, you are seeing how faithful and just the Lord is to forgive you and cleanse you and to, to, to defeat that again where you don't walk in that. And it, it, it makes you keep a reverence and a respect for him. Be kind, Ephesians 4.32, tender heart, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, have forgiven you. You must repent. You must turn when you know you have disobeyed our Master Jesus. And humble yourself. And let Jesus make you free. If you're out there today and you say, oh, Pascal, I grew up in church. I believe in Jesus. Maybe you're watching. You've been in another religion all your life. Saints, Jesus is the only way, the true Jesus, to get to God. There's no other way. And you have to pray and accept Christ as, as your master, your Lord, and renounce everything else and allow Jesus to become the Lord of your life and believe in your heart that he took your sins away and God raised him from the dead. Pray with me right now. Make a decision to commit your heart, your life to Christ. Commit yourself to Christ. Say it out loud with me. Lord Jesus, I believe you're the true son of God. God sent you on this earth to show me his love. I believe in my heart when Jesus died on the cross, he took my sins away. And on the third day, I believe in my heart, God's mighty power raised Jesus from the dead. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus, and save me and change me and give me eternal life. I repent of my sin, the sin of unbelief. Now, Lord Jesus, I receive forgiveness. Say it out loud. I receive forgiveness for all my sins and my inheritance of my faith in Christ Jesus. Begin to say this. Thank you, Lord Jesus saving me and changing me giving me eternal life I believe Lord from this day forward that you can rule my life and I make you my Lord in Jesus name Amen I begin to thank him and you have to go tell somebody what Jesus did for you, man, because this is not going to be real if you don't. You got to go tell somebody. He's real. Now let me pray with all you all that are sick, bound, addicted. Put your hands to the screen. You there in hospitals, wherever you're at. Jesus loves you. He paid the price for you to be healed. But you have to receive it by faith. So, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth, I loose your anointing. I curse every sickness and every disease. I bind the spirit of infirmity to loose their bodies in Jesus' name. Satan, you take your hands out there. That lady, that, there's, a, there's a lady, you've been having trouble in your ear. Oh, Jesus just healed it. Begin to thank him and praise him. Thank you. There's a man, you've been having trouble in your right leg. Jesus just healed it. Begin to move it now and thank him and praise him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There's another person, you, you've been having trouble breathing. The Lord, right now, the Lord, just receive, say, Lord, I receive that power right now in Jesus' name. Take it in Jesus' name. And begin to thank him and praise him. 
But Father, I pray for them who are in addictions and habits. <clears throat> Lord, I, I pray by the authority of Jesus that that power will set them free. I break those chains off their mind that Satan will not be able to dominate them anymore. Lord, I pray you'll put them in a good church home and get, give them a good pastor. Lead them to good Christians who are true and honest and sincere and who live in the power of God. In Jesus' name, help them to see, Father, what you've done for them in Christ. And Lord, I pray that they will come to know your authority that you have given every believer in Jesus' name. And then I want to invite y'all. If you prayed that prayer, but I'm telling you, listen, I know you need to get water baptized. We're not long ago baptized 24. It was glory. I, I, want, to, I want to invite y'all to Jesus as a church. 332 West Main Street, Watertown, Tennessee. You can go online to Robert Scale Ministries, get directions. But you need to come to church. You need to be taught how to be a real disciple. If you're hungry, then come to the church. We also stream all our services live. Sundays, 10, 9 o'clock Sunday school, 10 o'clock regular service, and 7 o'clock p.m. on Thursdays. So I'm going to be looking at Make sure you come up and shake my hand. Let me know you came from the TV broadcast. <laughs> also, I'll make available to you everyone that see of him and believe him, a four-CD series for a love gift of $20 or more. And I'll give you a free copy of the Believer's Guide to Christ. You'll order these CDs today. Make your uh, check of a money order to Jesus. It's the Answer Ministries. Post Office Box 292-112. Nashville, Tennessee, 37229. And I'm telling you, I'll get these right out to you. Now, you can go to Robert Scale Ministries, uh, dot, dot org, and you can go on there and order these with your credit card, and you can see all the other things we have that's available to enhance your walk with Christ, to live in this love. Also, I want to thank my friends and partners. Thank you so much for your prayers, your financial support. <laughs> Saints, let me know how much the broadcast has been a blessing to you. And if you can, send us a seed to help us continue to do the work of Jesus. We love you. Well, my prayer for you is that you will know the love of Christ that passes knowledge and be filled with all the fullness of God. From Jesus Answer Ministries, I'm Pastor Robert Scare. Remember, Saints, as Christ loved you on that cross, go live his love. Give how Jesus freely gave you and forgive as he forgave you. And have a blessed weekend. We don't look forward to seeing you next week. Love you so much. Thank you so much for watching the broadcast. Bye-bye.